Hey, we're Mortgage Nerd here. So let's look at some foreclosure data. You see this is from the St. Louis Fed, Fred. This is 30 days or more past due, including foreclosures. This is 2020 pandemic. We saw a rise in delinquencies. And then when they finally started catching up with all the forbearances, that's when you see the, the line coming down. We had the moratorium on foreclosures as well. And now we're deeper into 2022 and it's still low. Let's look at another chart. So this chart shows all the way back to 2008. Let's look over here, this is 2006. Look at the foreclosures in 2005, the first three lines, and then 2006, the, these four. And then look at where we are. We're nowhere close, nowhere close. And everyone says we're entering what we saw in 2008. The foreclosures were at their highest in 2009. You know, I was saying this the other day, that period was long, it was several years. It wasn't this one quick action. I've said it before also, the Fed got us into this mess by raising the rates. The Fed can get us out of this mess by dropping the rates. And they will likely do it at some point. But it's the end of 2023, beginning of 2024, whatever. But as you can see, the moratorium on foreclosures had very few. And then in 2022, they started coming up. But we're still not at the levels of 2018 and 2019. Those are really healthy years, including 2017. I mean, look at those foreclosure rates, under 100,000. And we're not even getting close to that per quarter yet. There's nothing really to be scared of. Actually, we need this supply because the demand that's coming in Q1 and Q2 of 2023 when rates drop to the fours and fives is really going to need something to feed it. It's got to, we got to eat with that demand. Otherwise, we're going to have the same mess that we were in in 2020 and 2021. Mortgage nerd out.